Hey, this is Igor from myhexcel.com. Today we're gonna look at uh, shared element transitions and uh, ways how to move, make them better or worse. Enabling them is uh, pretty simple. You just add window content transitions, boolean flag into styles. Then you go to your s second activity layout, put the transition name attribute for view. And then you start uh, this second activity with the with the bundle using this method. Makes in transition animation. Passing the view source view from the first activity and the transition name in the second activity. Creating the bundle and passing it in in this method. This bundle has the coordinates and uh, size of the original image and little brief about how the transitions work shared, shared transitions the whole animation is displayed in the second activity so when you click uh, on this image the animation is uh, happening in the second activity which means that to start displaying it second activity needs to be started the layout needs to be inflated and uh, in some cases it uh, could take you a long time if you have the deep nested layout in the second activity or if you have some uh, troubles with the loading high resolution images so that's the uh, basic stuff that I did I just enabled transitions added the transition name and uh, pass in the bundle let's see what it would look like and uh, where is the shared transition? See just the fading in the image, there is no transition. But when you press back, it appears. Let's click it again. Yeah, now there is shared transition. It happens because the glide decides to download new image from the cloud and decode it into this size and then it caches it. After that we use that cached bitmap. And the first time when there is uh, nothing on disk stored, it downloads it. Although we have this uh, in the main activity already loaded. So you see, it does the networking and uh, decoding when it is supposed to be animating. And it's totally fine after the first time, but there could be just only one. There could be only just one click on this view and the what you can end up is uh, having no transitions or some weird experience. How can we approve it? So there is two ways. First is uh, to wait until the bitmap is decoded and loaded from the network using the postpone methods in detail activity. We use this method which says to wait uh, for enter, enter transitions uh, for us to tell it when to start animating and then running it when the uh, glide downloaded the image on resource ready let's see what it would look like I have those really high resolution images like 20 million pixels or something <laughs> kidding but they're really high resolution that's why the loading is so slow I have uh, the ripple effect uh, as a foreground for images so that you can tell when I click on the image and when uh, the animation is be started actually. As you saw we had the first enter transition successfully but it took us like so much time for it to start you see I check the time and it, it took uh, two and a half seconds just to start responses two and a half seconds from the click to start animation which is horrible but uh, we have our transitions in the first time but in this way you're better off just removing the transitions rather than waiting for such a long time how can we improve that and there is a second way 
you just cache the source image on disk so that uh, Glide doesn't need to go do networking and download it, the source image and then decode it, crop it, resize it, everything so that we have the source image on, on the phone then it just uh, takes it from the local storage and decodes it, scales it and this is so much faster and using Glide it's uh, really simple to do that we just tell this flag set to disk cache uh, storage to source which means that uh, it stores the source image let's see how much time it will take us to get the response you see it's uh, instantaneous let's look at the time 280 milliseconds amazing so easy for any image we don't need to go do networking here you can check it uh, and now you can enjoy your element transitions anywhere without having that horrible experience just cache them on disk cache the source image and you're good that's the basic principle also of uh, quick and response element transitions on Android if you find it useful share with friends and uh, thanks for watching